Welcome again, brothers and sisters, on Hotline to Heaven. As we continue in our 40 days of waiting on the Lord in fasting and prayer. John chapter 10 verse 27 says, The sheep that are my own hear my voice and they listen to me. I know them and they follow me. And then John 10 16 says, I have other sheep besides these that are not of this fold. I must bring those also. That's really referring to the Gentiles, you and I. And they will listen to my voice and pay attention to my call. And they will become one flock with one shepherd. They will listen to my voice and pay attention to my call. And they will become one flock with one shepherd. Listen to me, dear saints. My brethren, you have been divinely fashioned, divinely put together by the divine hand to recognize and hear the voice of your heavenly father. It's not just the prerogative of one man of God or woman of God. You are born of God. And so because of that, you are a partaker of the divine nature you share his divine nature. You participate in the divine nature, says Peter in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. I want this. I want this to sink in and for all of us to be confident of this fact that flows out of our deep and personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Declare this and speak this to your spirit right now and say, I am born of God. And I am a partaker. I am a sharer. And I participate in his divine nature. I have been divinely fashioned and put together by God. To recognize his voice. To hear his voice. And to listen to his voice. And respond to his voice. Hallelujah. That is your heritage. You have been born of God. Just like a baby in the mother's womb, all the time the baby is in that womb, is constantly hearing the mother speak and shout and sing and, you know, gets used to the voice even from the womb. And when that baby comes out of the womb, the baby is attuned to the voice of the mother. The baby knows the voice of the mother. The baby recognizes the voice of the mother in like fashion. Hey, you have been born again, not of the will of man or the passion of man, but born of God. And you know, you recognize, you hear, and you can respond to the voice of your great shepherd, your heavenly father. Glory be to his name. Lead us, Lord. We will follow, yes, as you heed that voice, you recognize that voice, it will lead you, his voice will guide you, and his grace will enable you to follow. Lead us, Lord, we will go, oh, lead us, you have called us. We will answer, lead us, Lord, and we will go. Oh, lead me, Jesus, lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Lead me, lead me, Lord, and I will go. Hallelujah. You have called me. I will answer, lead me, Lord. I will go, lead me, show me, guide us, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Oh, I will follow by your grace. Lead me, Lord, and I will go sing this to him. You have called me. I will answer, lead me, Lord, I will go. 
pray this prayer of total dependence on the Lord and say with me, Lord Jesus, oh, Shanda, Lord Jesus, when I don't know the way to take and each step seems so uncertain, you have taught me to walk by faith in absolute dependence on you with confidence in your love in your ability and power to work for me and on my behalf. And in your willingness to help me, O Lord. Hallelujah. Because you have given me your promise that you will never leave or forsake me. You will always lead me and you will always guide me. Lord, this I believe. Oh, sing, lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Yes, lead me, lead me, Lord. Yes, I will go. You have called me. I will answer, lead me, Lord. I will go. Your ways are perfect, Lord. Your paths are right. Oh, lead me, Lord. And I will follow. Sing it to him. Lead me, Lord. And I will go. Hallelujah. You have called me. Lord, I will answer. Lead me, Lord. And I will go with your heart reaching out to him and everything within you yearning for him. Sing, lead me, Lord. Lord, I will follow. Yes, Jesus. Lead me, Lord. Lord, I will go. You have called me, Jehovah. You have called me. Hey, Lord, I will answer. Lead me, Lord. I will go. And now pray and say with me, Lord, I know your plans for me are perfect. Your plans concerning every area of my life, they are perfect, O Lord. And I never need to fear. Yes, let that really sink in. Do not be afraid. Continue to pray. Even those times when I feel alone, I know that you are near and always in my corner. Everything in me desires to follow you, Lord. I am willing to yield to you. I'm willing to obey you and follow you. Help me, Lord, for you're the one who makes me willing and then able to follow you. Take my hand and don't let me go. And I will follow you all the way. For you alone are my fountain of life. Hallelujah. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Yes, I will follow. Reach out to him. Lead me, Lord. And I will go. You have called me. Lord, I will answer, lead me, Lord. Yes, I will go. You are my life. (laughs) You're my fountain of life. You're my tree of life. You're my spring of life. You're my living water. You are the God who leads me, who guides me. My great and good shepherd, the pillar that holds my life are you. The high priest and the apostle of the confessions that you put on my tongue. Hallelujah. My heavenly father, my father of all eternity. I know that when I step out in faith on your word, on your voice, independence on your voice. I will not sink. 
for it is sure ground. Lead us, Lord. Yes, we will follow. Lead us, Lord. We will go. You have called us. And our heart will answer, lead us, Lord. We will go. Now thank him for melting every hardness of our hearts, every stubbornness, every stiff nakedness in our hearts that make it hard for us to yield to his voice and to follow him. Thank him for filling you with the fear of God, with awe-inspired reverence, making us to desire to be led and to be guided by him. Yes, let's thank him. Thank you, Father, for melting the hardness of our hearts, everything that prevents us from giving ourselves totally and willingly to your guidance and to your leading, O Lord, to the leading of the Holy Spirit. That makes us to shut our ear to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That makes us, O Lord, to turn away and refuse to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for melting it away out of us and working in us to make us yielded to your voice, fulfilling me, fulfilling us with a fear of you, O oh God, with awe inspired reverence, because that's what will make us to desire to be led by you and to be guided by you, because your ways are perfect, your ways are right. You alone, you alone have the words of eternal life. You alone have the words that can give me peace, that can fill me with the joy of the Holy Ghost, that can give my heart rest in my home, in my marriage. Father, in every area and arena of my life, lead me, Lord. I will follow by your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Continue to pray and say, Alasanda Sheke Nanta. Yes, Akabana Singa Manasa. Particularly those of you who have a meeting today. You have an important meeting that you have to attend. Maybe you're presenting, doing a presentation, or there's a project that you want to present to someone in order to get financing, or you have a meeting in a financial institution, whatever it is. Hey, you have an interview coming up, and even if it's not happening today, store up this prayer for when it's coming up. It may be next week, it may be some months down the road. Just pray and store it up and pray and say, my Father in heaven, the Lord, the God of all flesh, in every meeting that I will be in today, in my interactions at work, lead me, guide me, and speak through me, and let me see your presence and your power on full display. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, for God's word says that when we speak, we should desire to speak as the oracle of God, which means to speak the very words of Jesus Christ. And it is possible because you are born of God and he lives within you by his spirit. And He all he desires to do is to live through you. So pray, Father, in this meeting that I'm going to attend today, Father, in this presentation that I have to make, this interview that is coming up, Lord, this exam where I'm going to be um, examined orally, Father, lead me, guide me, and speak through me in the name of Jesus Christ. Asakan, I want to see your presence and your power on full display as I sit down for this meeting, as I go for this presentation, as I attend this interview in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, pray, say, I will open my mouth and speak as your oracle at this meeting. I will open my mouth and speak as your oracle at this interview. And my words will not fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Like I said, store it up if you're not going for any today. Yes, 
as I sit before whomsoever it is you're going to sit, decree that your words, they will not be able to refuse you. Yes, you will not be able to refuse my word. Call the name of whomsoever it is that you're going to sit with for that meeting or who you're going to go before at that interview, who you're making that presentation to and decree by the anointing of God upon my life and by the sure mercies of God who gives me distinction, hallelujah, among my peers and crowns me with unimpeachable faith. There's actually someone who is going for a meeting, an important meeting today. Rike satashe kebanta saraka. Ala seteshi kebata sakama na seke papanka na hanga. Reke sakanga kakanga na sinke manaseke panasanga manahanga. Loko manashinka, you've been praying about it. You've been talking to the Lord about it. And this is to confirm to you that the Lord has heard you. Be clothed, be clothed, be clothed in the light of Jehovah. <laughs> and all who see you will not see you, but they will behold the glory of God all around you and their hearts will melt and flow towards you in an impeachable favor, in kind consideration and goodwill. The Lord will give you a mouth and a tongue that they will not be able to refuse or reject. Your words will not fall to the ground, but infused with the power of God, it will grip their hearts and they will not be able to refute your words or resist you or reject you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree in agreement with this word, Lakasaka, that they will submit to you. They will submit to your words. In Jesus' name, Halasika. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Reke sata shike papakanda saka kakakanda. There is someone on this hotline, and um, for some time now, you've been your heart has been weighed down. Raka sete shike papakanda siri. I told the Holy Spirit in the course of prayer, if this is something you want me to share today, just remind me of it, and He just um, brought it to my remembrance. Reka sanda shikana siyanka. You've been very up. Concerned, your heart has been, you know, I don't want to say weighed down. That's not the word, but it's just something that has been on your mind. It's been on your mind. That um, you've been concerned about your later years when you look at where you are now and what's going on in your life now. You say, God, <laughs> what's going to happen? I don't really have a retirement, I don't have a pension. I'm just there, Lord. And Lord, I'm getting on in years. What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my family? This is the word of the Lord to you. Lift up your eyes to me and your heart to me. Let your heart trust in me. For I am your retirement. I am your pension. I, hey, am your portion in this land of the living. I am the door and through me, hey, I will lead you to the path that I have already prepared for you. I will show you what I have made ready for you to take care of your latter days. For have I not spoken? Have I not said it into your ear? Once you were young and now you're getting on in age, have you seen the righteous forsaken or their seed going around begging for bread? Trust totally in me. And keep your eyes open, for I am ready to do a new thing in your life. I will lead you through that door and show you what I have prepared for you. I have not forsaken you in the past, and I will not forsake you now or in the future. 
says the Spirit of the Lord, whoever this is for, take this word, key into it and receive it and be expectant. Be expectant. Keep your eyes strained on him, your heart fixed on him, everything in you anchored in him. And hope thou in God, for he shall do what he has said. Glory be to Jehovah. He's your portion. He's your retirement. And he is your pension. And he will show you, lead you to what you ought to do. For there's some things you ought to do. Glory, glory be to Jesus. I'm so excited in my spirit. When the Lord just addresses issues like this. So key in, key in, key in, key in. And receive what the Lord has meant for you. Before we continue, because we're going next to pray to um, cleansing and purification prayers for our house and our homes. The Bible says that we should not walk like those who are foolish and uh, without any sense, but as those who are wise, intelligent, and discerning people. Ephesians 5.15. And we need to do some work. We need to do some work oh, in our homes and in our houses. But um, before we go on to that... Anyone who has joined this hotline and you know you have not prayed to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, you know that <laughs> you have not done what you should do in asking Jesus to take over your life. For those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you receive Jesus Christ, you experience a new birth. For Jesus himself said in John 3.3, 3, What I'm about to tell you is true. No one can see God's kingdom without being born again. And God's kingdom starts right now. The moment you become born again, the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is now in you. And you've entered into eternity with Christ Jesus. You've entered into an eternity with Christ Jesus. And you may say, oh, but, but Pastor Nani, ah, maybe I'm going to expire and um, leave this earth through death. <laughs> uh, eh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You have entered into an eternity with Christ Jesus. Death will not stop that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way to God. He's the only way to God. That's why he says in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one, no one comes to the Father except through me. So I want to give you an opportunity to do so now. And as we always do, those of you who have already done so by the grace of God, pray for those in your circle of life or influence that do not know Jesus Christ, that they will experience so great a salvation that you've also experienced, yes, by faith. And so pray to receive Jesus Christ now by faith through prayer and say with me, Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my heart and I receive you as my Savior and Lord. Thank you for forgiving my sins and giving me eternal life with you. Hallelujah. Show me, O oh Lord, the wonderful plan you have for my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit that you have promised to give all that are yours so that I can be the kind of person that you want me to be and you have formed me to be. Because apart from you and without your help, I cannot live this life of faith that I have professed. I receive Holy Spirit now and I thank you for him, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, hallelujah. For any of you who pray this prayer, congratulations and welcome to the household of God. Welcome to the family of the Most High God. Hallelujah. On the authority of God's word, you are born again if you prayed this prayer and you meant it. Glory be to Jesus. 
And now please get in touch with us. Just go to um, hotlinetoheaven.org or iccla.com and contact us and let us know you got saved, you got born again on Hotline to Heaven. We would so love to get in touch with you, send you materials to help you in your journey of faith. And if you live in the Los Angeles area, you can come visit us at iccla. Our contact information is online at iccla.com. And by all means, when you come, let us know that you got saved, you got born again, you received Jesus. Jesus as your savior on hotline to heaven.org. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And now in Ephesians 5.15 says, therefore see that you walk circums- circumspectly or walk carefully, not as the unwise, but as wise, as sensible, as intelligent, discerning people. And then in fact, 2 Corinthians 2.11 says, that was Ephesians 5.15. And then 2 Corinthians 2.11 says, you are supposed to live and walk like people who know what Satan is trying to do. People who are not ignorant of the schemes, the plans, the devices, and the intentions of the devil. So that Satan will not be able to, listen, listen, be able to outsmart you, be able to outwit you, be able to take advantage of you or win anything from you. 2 Corinthians 2.11, we have been formed by God to be able to recognize the wiles and the devices and the schemes of the devil. And that is why we are praying this next prayer to spiritually cleanse, to spiritually purify and sanitize, to spiritually disinfect our homes this year of any defilement, any corruption, any pollution, whatever belongs to the devil. Anything he has planted in our homes, in our houses, that will attract demonic influence or is already attracting demonic influence and activity in our homes. Ah, the devil is in trouble. Let your power flow in our midst. Let your healing come in this place. We call for signs and wonders in our homes. Let your presence show in our home. Sing, let your power flow in my house, in my home. Let your power flow in this house. Hey, in this house. Let your healing come in this house. I call for signs and wonders in this house. Let your presence show in this house. Let your power, let your power flow, Lord, in my home. Let your cleansing come. Let your cleansing come in my home. Oh, I call for signs and wonders in my home. Let your presence show. In my home, <laughs> anointing fall on me. Your mercy will I see, just like the days when your power parted the sea. Your power remains the same. Oh, you never change. Baba, manifest your power. Manifest your power. Oh, manifest your power. My good God. Oh, manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. My good God. I worship you. My unfailing God. I adore Jehovah, Almighty God. I depend on you, the God of all gods. Your covenant is sure. 
Yes, you never change. Baba, manifest your power. Sing that he will manifest his power and reveal his glory. As you go into prayer right now concerning your house, concerning your home, concerning your apartment, manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Oh, your mind. Hallelujah. Now pray and say, by your grace, O oh Lord, and in your unfailing mercy, you have blessed me with this home and you have installed me in it. I am the temple of the Most High God. And because I live in this place, in this house, in this home, my home, my house, my apartment, is set apart unto you, O God, as holy ground, subject to your absolute superintendence. And so I dedicate my home afresh to you. I decree it set apart and separated unto you ha! in the name of the Father, the Lord God of hosts, in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, my Savior, my great Redeemer and my Deliverer from every evil work. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yes, continue to pray. By your burning, blazing and devouring fire that comes out of your mouth. According to the book of Psalms 18 verse 8. Burn up, O Lord, and consume anything that has been planted in this home. By agents of the enemy. By diabolical human or spiritual agents. To control or to manipulate the members of my household. For you are the consuming fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, pray. Pray that prayer. For as I said in Psalm 18 verse 8, <coughs> the Bible says that there's a fire that comes, there's a smoke that comes out of the nostrils of God and a fire, burning, blazing, devouring fire and fierce flames that pours, that pours, that pours out of his mouth. Divine smoke that comes out of his nostrils. So pray that anything that has been deposited through agents, human or spiritual, diabolic agents from the pit of hell, directed by hell. Oh, Lakana Sinda Shikamana, deposited anywhere in your home, in your hala sekanata, in your house to attract Lakana Sikamana Shinka Pata Seke Papa Kanda Sike Bana Singa. Ah, Lakada Sike Bana Singa. Diabolic influence. Ah, Tasika Manasinka, in order to control or manipulate the members of your household, pray that by the fire, the fierce flames, and the burning, blazing, and devouring fire that comes out of your mouth, burn it, O oh God, consume it from its very roots in the heavenlies over my home, every nook and cranny of my home, the spiritual and the physical atmosphere of my home. Let your fire, let your fire just curse through my home, through every nook and cranny of my house, underneath my house, in the heavenlies over my house, the physical part of my house, the spiritual environment of my home. Let your burning, blazing and devouring fire consume anything that has been planted, any evil deposit that is attracting diabolic influence. And creating an open door for the devil to come and harass and oppress me harass and oppress my aseke papa kanda seke harass and oppress my child harass and oppress my husband harass and oppress my children my grandchild in Jesus name amen Ah, let's continue to pray. Continue to pray. Ah, Sakamana, saints of God, take this seriously as a pastor. Some of the things we hear as pastors that go on in people's homes, straight 
strange things, strange, what they call stranger than fiction. Yet it is going, it's going on. All kinds of diabolic mischief. Ah, Sakanakananta. But the devil is going to put paid to every such work of darkness and manipulation. Ah, Tasakabanashinka from the pit of hell, from the infernal region, uh, in our homes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now pray with me and say, according to your word in Psalm 18, verse 8, let the divine smoke that comes out of your nostrils. Feel my house. <laughs> Feel the spiritual and physical environment of my home. And set to flight any entity of darkness that has made its home in my house. Smoke it out, O oh Lord, and set it to flight in the name of Jesus Christ. As you all know, when dense smoke, physical smoke fills a place, nobody is able to <laughs> stay there. You have to flee because you won't be able to breathe. You won't be able to function. And if you continue to stay there, it, it, you'll, you'll die from asphyxiation. In the same vein, pray that the smoke that Psalm 18 verse 8 is talking about, that comes out, that pours out of the nostrils of God, hey, that that smoke, that dense smoke will fill your home, will fill, yes, talk, make mention of the different rooms in your home, will fill the environment over your home, physical and spiritual environment, will fill underneath your home, your dr uh, driveway, all the parts of your home. Pray that it will fill it like, like a dense smoke. And that smoke will Ah, Tatakama Nasinga Mianta will totally consume every evil stench, every demonic stench, any diabolic stench that fills your home, that is attracting, uh, attracting demonic activity to your house, to your home. Pray, Father, fill my home with the dense smoke that pours out of your nostril. Fill the rooms of my children. Pray, 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 saints of God. Fill my bedroom. Fill my driveway. Fill all the nooks and crannies, every part. Fill the, my backyard. Father Saraka, fill my kitchen with your dense smoke. Fill my bedroom. Fill my bedroom. Fill the rooms where my children sleep with your dense smoke. And by that smoke, O oh Lord, set to flight every entity of darkness that has made its home. Ha! Not on my watch, oh God, that has made its home in any of the rooms of my house, that has made its home in my house. I direct the dense smoke that pours out of the divine nostrils against every such diabolic entity. No matter how long you have been in this house, even before I made it my abode. No matter what has occurred in the past and you feel you have a legal right. Hey, hey. I come in the name of Jesus Christ on the authority of Jesus Christ for it is written. He has given me power and authority over all the power that the enemy possesses. Over all the power from the infernal region. To step on serpents and scorpions and all of your powers and you can in no wise harm or injure me. I exercise that power in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, pray, saints of God, pray. Pray and cleanse your home. Pray and sanitize your home. Pray, 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 pray. Ah, Lakanda Sianka, by your dense set to flight every entity of darkness oh god in jesus name saints of god listen to me rakasaka before i came on hotline and i was in prayer i saw a child in a crib 
in a room of a house and a child in a crib. And on the face of that child, I saw a scar. Ah, Rakasakanda. And as I continued looking and praying in the spirit, ah, Rikasakaba, I saw a, a snake, caught, very thick, ah, Sakaba da Saka, very thick, thick snake, coiled, coiled, coiled tightly underneath that crib. In fact, when I was praying and I saw it, I had a visceral, a physical reaction, and I started to shake all over because it was. It was so strong, what I was seeing. And this snake, like I said, was coiled tightly. And the Spirit of the Lord ministered to me that there's somebody on this hotline where your child sleeps, the room where your child sleeps, your baby sleeps. Anytime you enter there, it's like there's a presence there. You feel a presence. You feel, you know, this terrible presence. Your, immediately your mind, your, your spirit is not at ease. And it's something that you've been thinking about. Anytime you enter the room, this is what is going on. There's a foul spirit. There's an evil spirit in that room. And the desire of hell is to devour your child. And what do I mean by that? To introduce into your child a diabolic deposit that will rule and control the life of that child. But the devil is a liar. And when I saw that, I just went into tongues and, you know, praying in tongues and shouting out in tongues and calling on the fire of God for quite some time. Atta seke banashike banashinga and just releasing God's fire, releasing God's fire, releasing God's fire. Atta seke banashinga. And it was as if the um this the this this the serp the serp i want to call it a serpent but it was actually a spirit uh, a serpentine spirit it turned its face towards me and the eyes were now focused on me and it looked really red it looked bloodshot just staring at me and i continued to shout in the spirit and um direct the fire of god at it and it would try to uncoil itself and rise up towards the crib and then it will come back. Uncoil, rise up and then come back. And as I continue doing that, eventually it turned into water. It melted by the fire of God. I, I could just see something like water and started flowing towards the door, flowing towards the door. And then it got to the door and it stopped and stopped at the door and continued to look into the room and was as, as if it was staring at me. And uh, I thought when it was flowing out, it was going to leave the whole house, but it stopped at the door. And that's why the Bible says men ought always to pray and not faint. And saints of God, when you're in prayer and you don't have a release and you just feel, oh, it, it, I'm not done. I'm not done. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. You have the spirit of the Lord until you have a release and you, you, you have a sense it is done. And so I continued praying and continued calling down the fire of God and praying that the Lord will consume it by its fire, fire and devour it. And after some time, I didn't see it at the door anymore. And I thought, praise God, it's gone. The house is free of this foul, foul spirit. The next thing I saw it in the driveway. The devil is a liar. I saw it actually in the driveway looking at the house. So I continued again in prayer to, for the Lord to just drive it away. But nothing happened. And then I, I now started sprinkling the blood. Sprinkling the ah Thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus. Saints of God, as I was praying and sprinkling the blood of Jesus of, upon it, over it. It was as if with each sprinkle, fire, fire, fire. You, you know, like um, droplets of fire over it and immediately it fled from the driveway to the end of the road and stayed at the end of the road looking back and then I saw the blood of Jesus you know like waves like waves like waves that will come upon the house and ebb come and ebb come and ebb and I just thank God and praise God for the deliverance he has wrought in that home. And I want us now to pray for that child. 
whoever this child is. Pray, pray that the fire of God will search out. The fire that nothing cannot resist. Nothing is able to withstand. I decree in agreement with you all that the fire of God will search out every evil and wicked deposit that has been planted in the in that child to manipulate or control the life of that child by reason of the same power that has delivered you and driven this foul spirit from this house and will never able to gain access back into this home. By this same power, we search out every place any place Allah, where the enemy has subtly deposited his property in you in order to have control over your life as you grow and you develop and mature. Hey! Lake Amanda Singer, the Bible says the secret things belong to God, but the things he reveals are for us and for our children's children in order for us to do according to his word. And that's what we're doing right now. I incubate you in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Laka by the eye of God, we search out every walk of wickedness. By the powers of darkness. Against you, in the name of Jesus Christ, we subject and direct the subject it to the fire of the Holy Ghost, the devouring fire, the burning fire that spreads out from the presence of God pouring out of his mouth to consume it totally and completely in the name of Jesus Christ. We free you from this evil, wicked work. And we cleanse you, we cleanse you, we cleanse you, we wash you out by the blood of Jesus Christ. I see that scar. I told you I saw an ugly scar the, from the place where the hairline starts coming down over the bridge of the nose on the face of that baby and as we're praying I see that scar just disappearing little by little by little that evil mark saints of God these are spiritual realities that are real it's real it's real I can only say that which I have received and has been revealed to me as strange as odd <laughs> and as way out there as it sounds in fact there are times when the, the Lord reveals things to me and I say Holy Ghost it's not me and you this one is way out but I just have to Say what I am seeing. Rike Satashika. Thank you, Jesus. And now plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your home. Ah, as the Spirit of the Lord leads you over every entry point of your house, every room of your house, and render it inaccessible to whosoever will bring destruction, whatsoever or whosoever will bring defilement, violence, or evil mischief or manipulation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus over every entry point, access point of my home, spiritual and physical entry and access points. I plead the blood of Jesus over it all in the name of Jesus Christ and I render my home inaccessible and impenetrable to whomsoever spiritual or physical will seek to come to my home to bring destruction sent on assignment by the pit of hell to bring destruction to bring defilement violence or evil mischief and manipulation in Jesus name I know that this where our time is really far spend but I want us to finish this today ah rakanda seke baba kamba natakanda oh Jesus 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 hmm, 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 hmm. and we haven't taken our holy communion it looks like we just may have to stop here and we will continue next time Ah, la sata shakaba na hinga. Because I don't want us to rush. <laughs> we have 40 days. I don't want us to rush. Let's not rush. Let's take our time and take care of business. And so, bring out your holy communion. Father, I invoke your blessing upon this holy communion. As we take it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit of the Most High God. 
And so take your Holy Communion, open it and take it. And as you're taking it, you're signifying, proclaiming and declaring what Jesus Christ finished on the cross for you and for me. His body broken for you so that you may walk in health and the blood shed for the forgiveness of your sins. The blood, hallelujah, shed so that you may be reconciled to God the Father. And now, decree and say with me, Father, by this holy communion that I have just taken, I thank you for your quickening spirit, your energizing spirit that is flowing through me and ensuring that my body lines up with your word of healing, of strength, and of vigor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive your word. And by this word, I stand delivered from every pit of destruction. I stand delivered from the door of death. I stand delivered from the beast of death seeking to devour me through sickness and bodily affliction. I stand delivered from every chronic condition sent to debilitate me and assign me to a bed of languishing. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Receive healing and wholeness, for this is the children's bread in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, arise in this thy strength and faith, strengthened, invigorated, and energized with all of God's explosive power from his realm of glory, filling you with great hope, a living hope, the hope that will not make you ashamed and with his joy. For in Christ Jesus, you win always. The blood of Jesus will speak for you wherever you go, wherever you drive and wherever you stand to keep harm, to keep injury, to keep disaster, terror and bloodshed far from you. For in Christ Jesus, yes, 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 we win. You win always. Glory be to his name. We'll continue again next time. Hallelujah.